Welcome back fam, JBL Tune 720BT. I wanted to make a video discussing the lower end reviews like the three stars and down, the mixed reviews. I'm gonna address some of the issues people have with these headphones, so let's get right into it. Right over here, I have the Tozo HT2. I'm gonna use the Tozo in this video for a few comparisons to show you a few things about the 720BT. So starting with fit. So when I put these headphones on, what I notice is that these headphones will hug your head. It's not necessarily a terrible experience, but you definitely feel it hugging your head. I wore these around the house, did a few things. What I like to do is over time, if they start to feel, uh, you know, just a little overbearing, I'll move them around a bit. And that normally helps me out. Now, when I try on the Tozo headphones, they feel good. They do hug my head, but it's a lot more comfortable. Now, I wanna take your attention to the audio jack here. Take a quick look. Also, look at these 3.5 audio cables. One has a 2.5 on there. So what does all that mean? Basically, if you have the 720BT headphones and your cable gets damaged or lost, it might be a little bit more complicated to find a replacement cable on the fly. Versus if you have the Tozo or any headphones like these over here, it's gonna be a lot easier to go into any store and find a 3.5 audio cable. But y'all wanna know something cool? These are the first headphones I reviewed and I might have to take that back because I also reviewed the 670 JBL headphones and I think those can do it as well. But you can actually make phone calls using these, Bluetooth of course, and using the cable as well. Because when you look back at the cable, you see those three lines on there? That lets you know that you can make phone calls using that cable. So I was able to make phone calls in wire mode and in Bluetooth. Remember when I said the 720BT headphones had mixed reviews? When you start reading some of those reviews, you're gonna notice that a lot of people will say that these headphones right here, these right here, they're not true over-ear headphones. Now, now, oh, hold on. They're not all wrong here. When I wear these, I have to make sure my ears actually get into these cups here. Sometimes it takes a little maneuvering. They are a little smaller than most over ear headphone cups. In fact, I did a measurement for you guys, not like 100% accurate, so I know, but check it out. Looking at the Tozo, you see the length on that? It's longer, the shape is even different. Now, when we go over to the JBL, as you can see, the shape is different and the length is a lot shorter. People with bigger ears, this might not be over ear for you. It was barely over ear for me. I think I have like medium-ish size ears. So just a heads up, if you are gonna pick these up, if your ears are a little larger than most, Keep that in mind. And the second thing that most people tend to complain about regarding these headphones is ANC. These headphones don't have ANC. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put together a little ANC test with these headphones and then you can let me know in the comments below what you think. All right, fam, if you haven't already, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, affiliate links for this color and all the other colors that these headphones come in in the description below. Last but not least, low volume. So a lot of people tend to have issues with volume with these, saying that the volume's a little low. So far, I have not experienced that using these. They were loud enough for me, but this is what I'll do. I do a lot of sound tests with headphones and as I continue to do more sound test comparisons, I'll be able to tell you if the volume is actually low compared to a lot of other headphones in this price range category. All right, fam, until next time, I'm Dave Banter, we out.